In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber the price of 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their goal will be to guess the price of each card as closely as possible. For each dollar away they are from the correct answer, they receive a point. As points add up, the lower the prize. Today, we see if your favorite YouTuber can win the $1,000 grand prize. In today's episode of Guess That Price, our new guest is Simo. Simo is one of the largest Yu-Gi-Oh creators on YouTube, having amassed over 300,000 subscribers. He is well known for his extremely popular show, The Progression Series, as well as his much anticipated banlist reactions. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to episode 25 of the auction series. Okay, okay, maybe not. Not auction series, but we do have another series and Simo is here, guest number three on our new price question game. I don't even have a real title. So Simo, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic, my friend. Uh, when are we bringing back auction series? I know the audience really clamoring for it. I don't know. I'm hearing a lot of buzz. I'm hearing a lot of hype. I mean, it feels like auction series could be back at any day. I guess any we'll just have day. to find out in the future. I, I don't know. You've been gone for like six months, you know, you've at been- least. Yeah, you've been traveling the world, meeting people and stuff like that. But now you're back. You're back to Yu-Gi-Oh! And you better know the prices or you're going to be in big trouble. So the fun part of me doing this, especially when you were telling me about this idea, is that I've been out of like modern Yu-Gi-Oh! for a while because all I know how to do is apparently make series where we start at LOB and make our way up. So yeah. as a result of that, I'm the perfect candidate for this because I'm probably not going to know like 90% of this. We're going <laughs> to see how well my knowledge is stuck over the years. We're going to have to see if you remember some of those prices because we've had two guests so far. They We've both done fairly well. We had like an 11 and a 16.9% away from like the okay. correct prices. So pretty solid. Pretty but I think Yu-Gi-Oh guy, you have an advantage, but you did kind of take a break. So we're going to have to see. Let's get right into question one. Are you ready? I am. Yu-Gi Boomer edition. Let's go. Simo, the first question. This is a card that I know you're very familiar with. So we're going to okay. see if you're familiar with the price. The first one is Breaker the Magical Warrior, oh, Magician's Force, no. Ultra Rare, First Edition, Near Mint. Oh, crap. Crap. Okay, so I do know with this that this isn't technically the most expensive highest rarity because the okay. most expensive is the TP7 Super, which oh. I disagree with, by the way. Like, I understand it's rarer technically, but the Ultra just looks cleaner in my opinion. I definitely but, agree. I think yeah. that this one should be worth more, but I will give you, you are correct. It is definitely not yes. the most expensive version. The TP7 Do I get points is. for that? <laughs> you get any points? No, no points for oh, you. Oh, okay. Well, at yeah, least I, I know at least I know that much. This is hard because like I have had this forever and uh -huh. like obviously I didn't get it for what it's probably worth now. And right. so it's definitely gone up significantly over the years. I'm just going to I'm just going to take a, an easy guess. I'm going to say that this now first ed MFC, I'm going to say that this is a hundred bucks. So you think it's in a tier one, the very top of tier one is what you're feeling. Uh, well, I guess it's by tiers, right? So yeah. So mm. you got to keep in mind the tiers will help you like later on, like what it is. So you are hitting the very tip top and like, max amount of tier one. I think to be safe, I'm going to go tier two because I think it's going to be like slight. It might be like 110, 120. So let me actually, let me change up here because I did forget the tiers are part of this. I'm not just like trying to guess like immediately on the head. I'm right. going to go $120 tier two final answer. The answer here is $90. No! So you oh, were, I you were going to, it. Oh, you were going to get man. the right tier and get a $10 credit and have it oh, right on. But then you decided to bump it up to the second tier. I understand the logic though, because it does seem like it would be more of a tier two card. It seems like I looked at the listings for this because I was a little surprised it was 90 bucks. Like most of them were over a hundred. Like three of them oh. were in the nineties. It was like 90, okay. 95 and 99. And then there was like a bunch like at like 110, 120, like okay. you guessed. Okay. So you're pretty much right on the head. It's just the lowest one someone had put it at 90. I think there was a 95 as well. So there's a couple, fine. couple people fine. were selling early, but honestly, you're only 30 bucks off. You get to throw out one. So you're going to be fine so far. Let's go to number two. Rise of the Storm Monarch, Ooh. Force of the Breaker, Ultimate Rare, First Edition, Near Mint. Beautiful. I should go. I just need to go get in my collection and just bust all these out because I have. Yeah, all you can these. just ask the cards. Hey, what I are you worth? <laughs> Okay, I think this is gonna be like similar to like Breaker where this I believe should be like tier two. I think it should be like within like that hundred, like low hundreds range, maybe like mid hundreds. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna go with tier two, 150 on Ulti Ryza, final answer. So far, you feel like, yeah, I feel like you have a good grasp of what the values are, at least kind of close. So okay. let's see uh, how close you were on this one. You said tier two on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm you're correct. It's in the 
second okay. tier. All right, we're so you're going to get the bonus. Least. You're going to get a subtract 10 off your answer, basically, okay. or add, depending on where you're missing it from. Rise of Storm Monarch, Force of the Breaker, Ultimate Rare, First Edition, Near Mint. This card, you said 150. I said 150. It is worth $160. Whoa! Almost right on the head. So you essentially got zero with the bonus. You almost nailed it. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's that that makes sense. I feel like that is what this card is worth. So far, I'm getting a little bit worried that I'm gonna have to give away a thousand dollars out of this. <laughs> so uh hopefully that that's does not happen. Okay, maybe it, that would be cool actually. So let's see. The next one, question number three. Here is a card that I don't really know much about. I know that you might know about this card. Salaman Great Pyro Phoenix from what is this? Chaos. What is Chime? Chaos Impact. Chaos Impact. Okay, Starlight First Edition. Near oh, the second Starlight set ever. So yes, I know you and Salaman Greats. I don't know about Pyro Phoenix, though. So. Uh, yeah, we didn't really play this card because it's kind of bad. Okay, all right. So Why did you get a Starlight, then? Because they make a lot of Starlights bad, so. <laughs> <laughs> this was back in the era where they had to use, like, a rare as a Starlight. One of each rarity. A super. Yeah. It was so dumb. Like, what were yeah. they thinking? Let, oh, let me, let me take a step back. This card is, like, okay for what it's worth, but it's just like in the context of like when you played it and everything else at the time, it just wasn't great. Right. So this is the thing. It's a starlight, which you immediately hear starlight. You think this is going to be like a billion dollars, right? Right. But yeah. Essentially. No, they, yeah. They, this is this is a bad starlight. So, so you're saying this one's not worth a billion dollars. No, I should this not. Is, I should not take a loan out for this card. This is not IP Masquerada. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That the other one. The thing is, though, it's still a starlight and the old like. So then you have a card like win for example, right? Which win is like objectively the worst charmer, but right. because it was like one of the first starlights, it's like $800 or some yep, like ridiculous yep, price. Yep. Or Those something. are insane. Those charmer yeah. cards. But I don't know if the second wave, aside from like, I know IP is up there just because IP is actually playable, but I don't know where Pyro Phoenix falls on the spectrum If you don't have here. a good idea, you do have three lifelines. Keep that in mind. I do, but I feel like I'd rather save them for later down the line. I think okay. I have like a general idea idea with this i'm just gonna i'm gonna float a guess out there interesting okay i think it's too rare for it to be tier one the early starlights especially are also like worth money because of like the fact they were the first ones but there was also been bad starlights like there's also that um there's that trap card too like the the storm the, wind yeah whatever. The, sto the storm uh what's it called the dragon storm force or something S like some yeah some something that like it's it's bad right but that even yeah. that card is worth money in starlight rare yeah i think i'm gonna try to go a little bit safe here i'm gonna wager that this is tier two and i'm gonna okay. go for 150 i'm gonna go like i think this is worth about what the rise is worth okay so you you are guessing 150 the same guess as you did on question two yes you're locking that in that's your final I'm locking answer that in. you I'm don't want to go way off you, you but don't want to change it at all I, I feel like that's what this is worth regardless of what it's actually worth <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. He submitted that he will pay $150 for a Salaman Great Pyro Phoenix. All right. We, you heard it from the horse's mouth. All right. Question number three. You guessed $150. The Salaman Great Pyro Phoenix from Chaos Impact Starlight First Edition Near Mint is worth... $83. Wow, so it was tier one. So okay. if you have one, sell okay. it to Simo. He's yeah, gonna pay apparently I'm paying double for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would be a little tricky because it's like high rarity, yeah. but it's worth essentially like nothing compared to most starlights. I figured it would just be like at least over a hundred. Like I know there's a few starlights that like are incredibly low, but I didn't think they would actually be below a hundred. So that, that just goes to show how bad this card actually is. I was is. going through the starlight <laughs> list and I was like, man, this card is cheap. I was like, all right, yeah. let's just go for it. You didn't hit the tier correctly but you do get to wipe away this question so it's no big deal it's not a big yeah. deal because you this one's this probably one. getting wiped away yeah <laughs> that uh, was yeah pretty right odd. now it's really not that bad though you're only off by 67 dollars that's really not too bad in the grand that's scheme true. of things if this is your worst one you're gonna do really well so let's move true. on to number four we have the needle worm Woo! from tp3 it's an ultra rare near mint condition this was the one ultra rare out of tournament pack three what do you know about this card do you remember playing the old school like eternal duel of soul and like uh <laughs> worldwide edition and you'd play up against, I don't, I think maybe it was like Bakura who played the mill deck. I don't remember. And the whole deck was just playing up against Needleworms and just yeah. Gravekeeper, Servant and all that. That's basically <laughs> yeah. my memory of Needleworm. Uh, okay, in a yeah. So you could get it for the cost of Eternal Duel Soul. Uh, maybe a few copies of Eternal Duel Soul. But... <laughs> the, the digital version? <laughs> yeah, the digital version. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so 
Neat, neat little guy, TP3, anything tournament pack is going to be money. Like even the commons in that set are money. Yeah. This is this is going to be up there. I think TP3, this is probably uh, TE3, tier three, <laughs> uh, at, <laughs> at, at least. So that's at least 250. Yeah, TP3 Needleworm has to be at least 250. Where it's gonna fall in tier three is a different question. You do have those lifelines, keep them in <sighs> mind. You I can do a lower do. or higher, that could help. You could even get a new question if you're not too sure about this one. Uh, I think I like the challenge here. Okay, all right. He's gonna try and run the run the gauntlet with no I help. wanna run the gauntlet. At the very least, I, th I think I don't feel, I think I feel pretty confident I'll be like somewhat close. Uh, okay. But I, I'll probably regret saying that now that I just did, but. <laughs> I'm gonna say five hundred dollars. Five hundred. You want to lock it in at the five zero zero. Final answer. This would be by far the most expensive card. So let's see. Okay, you guessed five hundred dollars. The needle worm from Tournament Pack Three Ultra Rare Near Mint is worth six hundred dollars. Not bad. Not yeah, bad. Yeah, you're pretty close. I mean, you're <laughs> within a hundred. That's really not too bad. So yeah. Uh, technically, this one will be getting wiped away now because it's more. It's but further than the, the Pyro Phoenix. Percentage wise, it was better. It was a better guess. So this man's trying to do it without lifelines. I see. OK, all right. I want to save see. them. I want to save them for as best I can, which I could have used it there. Maybe then I would have had a better idea. I mean, you were I only off by a hundred. So it's like you kind of had a ballpark idea. So maybe not use it there. All right, let's go on to number five. Blackwing Vayu, the Emblem of Honor, Ancient Prophecy, Ultimate Rare, First Edition, Near Mint. Initial thoughts, this is an Edison format card, 100%. Uh -huh. And with Edison being as popular as it is, this is going to be pricey because everyone who plays these alt formats, they're either one of two ways. They either want to just have the cheapest version of the deck possible just to play like pickup games, or yeah. they want to have like the max rarity Edison stuff, right? And that so is completely if, right. <laughs> if you're going to play Vayu Turbo, you need to have Vayu, right? And having right. an ultimate first Ancient Prophecy Vayu is basically mandatory at that point. Yeah, so like what level are you saying? Like what level do you think? You think it's going to be all the way at tier three? You think tier two? I don't like think what? it's going to be tier three. I think it's probably going to be in the tier two area. If this is over 200 fifty dollars i i'm gonna <laughs> go quit but i feel like this is it's money but it's not like needle worm money okay just because there's it's a later set there's more of them available i am going to wager that ulti first near mint value is one hundred and eighty dollars. Whoo, that's pretty expensive for a little Blackwing guy. One hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah. OK, so you want to lock that in at one eight zero? Yes, one eight zero. Question five, Blackwing Vayu, the emblem of honor. I like how the Blackwings all are like Blackwing and then they just like have another name. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a dash. <laughs> like I noticed that when I was looking through the black wings to figure out which one I was going to ask you. I was like, OK, these have got some long names. So Vayu, the Emblem of Honor from Ancient Prophecy, Ultimate Rare First Edition, Near Mint. This card has had the craziest rise. So it was easily like down in the tier one just several months I, yeah. ago. Yeah, it was like, I think. 30 bucks or something like that mm -hmm. or like mm -hmm. 40 50 it is now all the way up to 298 dollars holy <laughs> the progression <laughs> series is over simo has quit oh my god i've it's quit too expensive. i've quit it's too expensive i knew it was going to be up there because again old ulties first ed especially and it's playable and it's in a form that's the most or second most popular alternative format that people play but i was not expecting nearly 300 dollars. it, it is insane. ridiculous how expensive this card is i think maybe a factor is because ancient prophecy was one of those boxes that didn't have a first ed booster box so maybe being uh, first edition like harder to find you know ancient prophecy first edition cards i would assume that's part of it but also it feels like it's got had a buyout like and like people just aren't reselling them so i i think the other part of it too is that it's also like one of if not the best deck in edison as well and i got so, waxed by it several times this week as a so. result of that with again more people getting into edison it's probably just spiking the demand even more for people who want to play if they want to just high rarity the whole deck yeah so i mean All i get factors. it i just didn't think it was that expensive that's insane to me 300 i mean to be fair, at least I didn't say it was like $50. So, yeah, you were definitely on the right track. You were talking out why it was good. So you just didn't have the exact number. All right, let's go to number six. So far, reminder, two tier three so far. We've got two tier ones and one tier two. Keep that in mind. We're going on to number six. Yadagarasu Legend, oh. or not Legend, Legacy of Darkness, Secret Rare First Edition, Near Mint. This is an interesting one because this just got recently unbanned. So 
Not on the most previous list, but it was the one before that, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. This is funny because I remember as soon as this came off the list, everyone's like, Yu-Gi-Oh's over, let's quit. Like, Yada's <laughs> back. And the only deck that could like maybe do anything with this card is like Flunder. And that's, that's a big if and then yeah. it didn't do anything and so i believe this card probably like all cards in the ban list spiked tremendously as soon as the ban list happened and then probably came crashing back down afterwards just because everyone's like oh this card sucks the one yeah. thing that yada has going for it actually two things let me let me take a step back the two things that has going for it is that it's a very old very nostalgic very memorable card for a lot of people and because of that it's also just going to be expensive because it's a first ed secret the secrets, especially from the old sets, like LOD fifth set ever printed, always seem to hold up very well. So I think this is a tier two. Okay. I feel like this could easily go, I think even before this got unbanned, it was probably like a hundred dollar card for the first yeah. Eds near mints. I feel like that's kind of like a reasonable price for this card. Then if we're gonna account for banless type and then crash, I feel like there's probably a bunch of people who held them and just wanna just maybe sell them at a higher price. So I'm gonna go tier two. I'm gonna go 150, final answer. 150, you really like that 150 mark. Yeah, it's just like a clean, like nice, even 150. Uh, there are, it feels like a lot of cards around 150. Like to get over 150, you gotta be a pretty nice card, like uh, Blackwing Value, the Emblem of Honor. E evidently, okay. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're locking in $150 is your guess. Yada Garasu from Legacy of Darkness, the secret rare first edition near mint copy is worth one hundred and sixty dollars. Oh, so close again! How did I do that twice? You guessed one fifty <laughs> on two one sixty cards. <laughs> Insane. So you essentially got it exactly right that yeah. time again. That oh seems about right. Goodness. I feel like that is like accurately where this card should be valued. Question number seven. It's a card that you may have heard of. Blackwing Kalut the Moon Shadow Legendary Collection 5Ds First Edition Near Mint. I have single-handedly probably caused the value of this card to spike tremendously. I shouldn't say single-handedly. <laughs> Gage is also a big part of that. Yeah, yeah, you and Gage combined have, have probably made that happen. I don't know if you're allowed to clarify this. I believe this is the ultra rare. Uh, Yeah, I meant to put that. I think it's an ultra. I can't tell. I'm pretty picture. sure it's an. I think it's the highest rarity of. Kalu. It is the highest rarity. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah. That. Okay. That that's fine. That's I meant all to I put the to rarity know. and I forgot. <laughs> okay. So yeah, as I was saying, because of the progression series, because of the meme and Kalutz, basically my mascot at this point. Uh, Kalutz have just gone through the roof. Also, I will say Edison has also had a fair bit to do with it as well. Yeah. But I think Prague is pretty much the biggest part because people just want me to sign Kalutz and Gage by extension <laughs> because that man's probably signed like a thousand Kalutz at this point. <laughs> Poor uh, guy. So this is. A tier one. There, there is. I ref, I refuse to believe. You, you don't that, think it can get over a hundred? No, I refuse to believe that ultra rare colutes are over a hundred. <laughs> if that's the case, I'm actually quitting. That, that, that is. That would be unbelievable to me. This is tier one, a hundred percent. Now, where in tier one is is a very different story <laughs> because. I could see this being like maybe 50, 60, 70 dollars. Like I could see that actually. But I don't you know can't if it see is 100. You could see 50 through 70, but you can't see 100. I, I refuse to value this at $100. <laughs> okay, I refuse. All right. So, with that being said, how much do I value this with Edison, with all of the merit and progression, like uh, everything surrounding this. How part. cool are you? That's what you have to really. really that's think what about. it comes down to. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> How pretty lame. How many people lame. care about Simo? Like, I'm pretty lame. Let's be honest. So yeah, I've met you now. So. I know you've done twenty something episodes of auction series with me for some reason. So <laughs> I'm gonna go. I felt confident for a second, and then I and I, I took a step. Hey, back. you have okay. three okay. lifelines. I do. You I'm can not do using an over them. under. I this might be the I refuse one. to use them. I refuse to use them. <laughs> <laughs> Blackwing, Kalute the Moon Shadow, Ultra Rare, Legendary Collection 5Ds, First Edition, Near Mint, $35. $35. Okay, so about a third of 100. So you're really sure it's not over. I think a play right? set of this could be worth 100. I don't think a single copy is worth 100. Okay, no okay. All right, so you're locking it in. 35 bucks for Blackwing, Kalute the Moon Shadow. The answer to this one is... 
seventeen dollars. Oh, I was way off. Okay. I mean, you're way <laughs> off, but it's still only eighteen dollars, so it's really okay. not that much. <laughs> if you okay. think about it. The thing is, Kalud also has a lot of printings, which helps it as well. Yeah, it does. It did have like four or five, I think. I remember at one point, this was ages ago. I think it was maybe when Prague first aired with Black Wings, and like yeah. I was on the whole Black Wings streak. I think the Kalutes were pushing thirty around that point. Yeah, so that, I wasn't that's sure. Probably right. I think in my head, maybe I was thinking they stuck around that, but it seems like they cooled down a bit. And honestly. I feel a lot better that this is a $17 card. <laughs> yeah, it'd be bad if this was over 100. <laughs> yeah, really no shot, no shot. All right, so, so far we've now hit three tier ones. Keep that in mind, two tier twos and two tier threes. We have three questions to go. We also have three lifelines, which you are refusing to use. We'll see if you can continue that streak or not. Question number eight, Dark Arm Dragon, Phantom Ooh. Darkness, Secret Rare, First Edition, Near Mint. I'm gonna make a lot of people angry with what I know what to say. I think, similar to the breaker thing, I think this version should be more expensive than the Over ulti. the ulti, okay, I, you're making bold I statements I love here. ultis. Anyone who yeah. knows me knows I love ultimate rares. I think yeah. it is a sin that the original first ed secrets are not more expensive than the ultis. Okay. And unless something changed recently, I'm fairly certain that that's still the case. But the ultis are uh, like champion pack or turbo pack, something like that. Yeah, so turbo pack six, I believe. I get why it's more expensive and people like ultis too. But still, right. for the nostalgia factor, anyone who played dad back in the day, like you had to play with the secrets. So, so today you have, you've quit Yu-Gi-Oh, you've assaulted twice. ultimate rare lovers. <laughs> and I feel like you did something else at the beginning too. That was pretty Probably. debatable. So Probably. My gut's saying tier three. I feel like if this was not first edition, this would probably be in like tier two. Because especially with the rise again of retro formats and such, and again, this is another heavily nostalgia based card. If only you had a way to know which tier it was If in. only, well, this is question eight, isn't it? It is. You, it is, you so I could now. use one of my lifelines here if I really wanted to. Uh, <laughs> but like, I as feel if like you couldn't use them before. Ah, now yeah. I can finally use them, <laughs> question eight. But to be fair, if I'm, on the, if I'm under the assumption this is a tier three, I think this is probably a good point to use it because had I used it on like the needle worm, I could have uh, gotten a lot closer in that sense. So this is probably another good point to use it. You also could do, not only to know the same tier, you could just do lower or higher if you'd figure that it out. That is true, that is true. I'm I'm pretty confident that this is tier three. Man, do I even want to use a lifeline? It might even be better to save it. I feel like <laughs> I'm save pretty- it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna save it. Technically you can use multiple on the same question if you want to. I was about to ask that as my qualifier, but yeah, if I'm allowed to use multiple, cause I've uh, been- In the first episodes, everyone used them in the first like three questions. So <laughs> this is new. <laughs> This is new, it's just switching it up. I might, actually, I'm gonna save it because I think, I think I feel pretty confident. Tier three, Secret First, Near Mint, Dark Arm Dragon, Phantom Darkness, beautiful card, $325. 325, you are feeling confident that it's a tier three card. Simo, you could have used a lifeline, I'm just saying, you could okay. have. Okay. To know what the Dark Arm Dragon, Phantom Darkness, Secret Rare First Edition, Near Mint, you could basically guarantee they were correct here and you could have potentially saved yourself. But you didn't need to. It was 398. So <laughs> oh, you're, you're still pretty okay. close. Yeah, you're right, still pretty close. Yeah, I was going to go 350, but I thought, eh, it could be like, uh, I wanted to just hedge my my bets. I, I guess, feel like these went up because I feel like they used to be like under 300 at one I, point. I feel like that as well. Yeah, I think these have gone up just it again. It feels same like thing. They, people feel like you, maybe they want it to be, you know, better than the ulti. So it's kind of in the same ballpark almost at this point. It's interesting because I feel like a lot of the people who play the retro formats, unless they just collect it for the nostalgia factor and don't care about playing, I feel like retro format people also like having the original versions of the cards that were played at the yeah. time, not like the newer versions, right? Yeah, also, I feel like the the like actual Phantom Darkness is like more sturdy than the Turbo Pack version because the, the, the ultis are kind of like, you know what I mean? They're kind of flimsy. They're flimsy. They're yeah, flimsy. so it's like if you're actually shuffling the card, it's like you feel better about having the Secret Rare because it's a little thicker. I don't know. I just feel like the Secret Rare just... I, I don't know if it's the inking on the card or the coloring. It just looks really clean. And the yeah, ulti, really I don't know. Nice. I, I feel like the ulti doesn't really do the card justice. And maybe this is just, you know, Boomer Simo coming out, but I don't know. This is one of the rare instances I'm against the ulti. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually make another uh another bold statement to agree with you. I actually don't love the ulti, the look of it that much. I still I still like it because it's cool, it's ulti dad, but like yeah, I feel like the ulti is almost like it almost like it takes away the card it. artwork and stuff a little bit. Yeah. Uh, that's how kind of how I feel about it. So if you guys feel, you know, strongly the other way, let us know in the comments. All right, 
Let's move on. Now, we are now on to the last two questions because nine and 10, we ask at the same time. That way you can't like, you know, maneuver any tiers or whatever. <laughs> but so far, you've had three tier threes already, three tier ones and two tier two. So you're guaranteed that one of these is tier two. It can help yes. you out there. And uh, I've got three lifelines, baby. All Easy. three <laughs> lifelines. So you can kind of like throw everything at the wall here to try and do your absolute best. So uh, let's do this. All right, Simo, since you are a ghost rare hater, as I say. Yes. I decided to end it with two ghost rares. A Episode or, or question nine and question 10. Question nine is Black Rose Dragon, Crossroads of Chaos, Ghost Rare. This is the unlimited copy. Unlimited. Interesting. Yeah. That's like first the first time we're doing unlimited. unlimited. The number 10 is Galaxy Eyes, Photon Dragon, Photon Shockwave, Ghost Rare, first edition near mint. So you have two Ghost Rares, all of your hate. Like, let's hear a little bit. Come on, defend yourself for hating Ghost Yeah, Rares. well, first of all, I can't tell which card is which because they look exactly the same. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that I is not true. A Lies. lot of people, a lot of people love Ghost Rare. I am not a fan of this of this style whatsoever it's just okay, it does, you can't it does tell me that you me. saw my picture on twitter of the black rose that i took and you didn't think it looked good i think the black rose and the stardust specifically are the only two that i approve of and maybe honest sorry i'll take a step back honest it, just so because you like the old ones i like is, yeah i think i like the very first ones and after that i don't think i like them ever again <laughs> well they slowly have gotten worse every like, they okay. keep making them worse and worse so the beginning ones i say are definitely the best they look really good to me i don't know and maybe maybe that is the case that's just got progressively worse over time but yeah for some reason those three i can appreciate i still prefer the ulti okay. versions of black rose and stardust oh come on but, but again everyone has their own preferences and Ed, Everyone has their own preferences, but they can be wrong. Hey, I know, like you. So anyway, uh, <laughs> Black Rose and Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. So it's interesting we're doing Unlimited here because if this was first edition, this would easily be like the most expensive card we've probably done. This yeah, it'd be a little episode. bit too easy to know the tier on that one. <laughs> unlimited, though, I think actually a lot more difficult because that I actually probably have zero clue on. Uh, That's okay. Galaxy you Eyes three Photon Dragon. I do have three. I'm probably going to use all three here. I'll be honest. Yeah. So Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, I'll be honest with you. I know nothing about this card whatsoever. So I'm actually going to ask for a new question on... So if oh. I ask for a new question, does it reset both cards or just one? No, it's, this one is just going to do question 10, the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Yes, so... I would like to reset the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon for a new one. All right, you are asking for a new question. You say, I don't know anything about Ghost Rares, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Go ahead and put in your guess right now, and I'll tell you afterwards because I don't want to give away the tier that it's in. But guess what you think it would have been. I'm going to say that this is like... 200. Okay, 200. All right, we're going to come back to that. Yeah, remind we'll me to, to that. remind yeah. me to tell you that after we do the answers. Okay. All right, Simo, your big brain has finally failed you. You decided that you want to use a lifeline. So Correct. you're getting a new question 10. That is going to be the illusion of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was gonna do that eventually. <laughs> Dang it! After a slight delay where I gave him the uh, the wrong question, we will be giving a completely random 10th question because I gave away the tier, I gave away the price, everything. So th these nine and 10, it's not thrown out the window. He's just gonna have to know because he has a big brain. So here we go. Let's see if this lifeline helped or hurt you. All right, number 10, your re-question is the Dark Paladin first edition artwork, Magician's Force Near Mint. Now, wait a minute. I thought this isn't the Dark Paladin from MFC. I thought that's the one from the uh, All Master right, I'll give Duel. you a little background. So okay. this is Duel Master's Guide. Duel they Master's Guide, yeah. Yeah, they accidentally printed the Duel Master's Guide, put it into Magician's Forces first edition. Then if you got this card, you were able to mail it to Konami and get the actual first edition artwork, which is like the one everyone's like, oh, Ooh, super rare, because like you didn't actually pull it out of the box. Then in the Unlimited, they had that same other artwork, not the DMG artwork. So oh. this one is the actual first edition, but it was not on purpose. I never knew that. I always knew, I always associated this with the Duel Master's Guide and I associated the other one with the MFC. So that's neat. That's, I never knew that. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird situation where they put the wrong artwork in the set. I want to say I like improved my chances, but I don't, I think I'm about in the same position I was before because that is a card I have zero clue with that. <laughs> we didn't even know it was the first edition, so. <laughs> I mean, exactly, yeah. So uh, we're learning something new every day. Okay, this is why we saved the two lifelines for the end and you're making fun of me. Uh, it's working out, I guess. Sort of, except that I had to give you a different card and like mess it all up, so. So one of these statistically has to be a tier two correct because we've gone through three tier ones and three tier threes uh statistically yes if we had not messed up number 
ten, so this could be oh, any of so the So at this point, it's anything. Anything. Yeah. Scary. So uh, you used oh. a lifeline, and because of the mess up, you have now a less chance to get it right. <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad yeah. that I saved the lifeline for the end and made everything worse. Great. Okay. I'm going to use the lifeline on the paladin, and I'm able to ask. Do I have to ask if what tier it's in, or do I have to pick a tier and like confirm that? No, you can just ask, I'll tell you what it is. Okay, what tier is the Dark Paladin in? The Dark Paladin is in tier three. Tier three, okay. I felt pretty confident that the Ghost Black Rose Unlimited is also tier three. And I could be wrong, but I think even with the Unlim, it's still worth a lot of money just because it's Black Rose. So for the Dark Paladin, I'm going to go with four hundred dollars and then the black rose is where i'm gonna use my higher or lower is it higher or lower than 500 higher or lower than 500 dollars? you're using your final lifeline to see if you kind of have an idea where it is i can tell you that the black rose dragon ghost rare unlimited near mint from crossroads of chaos is under 500 dollars. under okay now the question is how far under? I still feel like this is worth a few hundred. Uh, there's been the trend this whole episode of these are old cards, iconic cards from the anime, also staple cards in old formats as well. And so people like their their shiny cards. And if you can't get a first ed ghost black rose, your next step is an unlimited ghost black rose. So that sort of helps the price balloon a bit. Unless you're Simo, you go for the ultimate rare. Which is what I do. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> which is prettier. I'm going to go with Rough for the unlimited black rose ghost near mint. I'm going to say that this is also $400. All right, final answers upcoming. This is the end. Simo, how are you feeling right now about how you did overall? Not very good. Uh, do you want to start with the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon that I uh, threw away? Sure, first? I will start with that. Uh, that's actually not going to matter what tier it was because I accidentally showed you. So yeah. <laughs> uh, the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon Ghost Dragon, you guessed $200. Yes. I'm going to tell you right now that you should have stuck with your guess and stayed with that card. This card is $171. Oh my God. So you were really close Damn. without knowing. You were very, very close. Maybe I should, yeah, it, I guess. All right. All right. I so figured I could maybe up. have traded up on the Photon Dragon for something a little bit better. And uh, I know the card, but I don't know it very well, evidently. All right. Break me the bad news, buddy. How bad do we do? Okay. Question number nine. The Black Rose. This card is worth... $265. That feels low to me. Yeah, wow. it, it is. It used, I feel like okay. it used to be 300. It's come down a little bit, I think. Okay, but okay. Yeah, it's very, a lot lower than the first head. Like, you're, I think the first yeah. head even gets up to 1,500 sometimes. So, like, exactly. like less than yeah. a fifth, like 20% to buy an unlimited. So... Yeah, they Sometimes really don't with look first different. Ends, that's how it works. Yeah, they really don't look that much different either. So very expensive card. So I don't know if that's your worst one yet, but it, it's close, I think. It's pretty close. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I, that's... Go buy those, people. I feel like that's undervalued. Yeah, so what we found today is that there's a lot of uh, cheaper cards than we would have thought. Um, yeah. All the right. final question, question 10, you replaced the Galaxy Eyes Photon, which you only missed by $29. I will tell you, you missed it by more than $29. You said oh, great. $400 on the Dark Palette. The correct answer okay. was $330. So you're still not too bad. Okay, not as you're bad not as bad. the Black Rose, actually. Yeah, yeah, you actually did okay. You're 400. Supposed to be Illusion of Chaos, $179. We accidentally <laughs> showed you the answer, so we had to kind of do a little bit of an audible, but... Uh, it's fine. Would, would you have known the Illusion of Chaos? I'm interested. Probably not. I knew that this card was played, and so I know the starlight of this is probably uh, some money, not a ton. I probably yeah. would have guessed like two, two fifty on that. In yeah. all honesty, so you would so have been, been around the same range, probably. Yeah, around the same. So actually, I think it did worse from yeah. uh, trying well, to use and my lifelines. You life should have lines. stuck with no more lifelines. I feel like you did better before that. Probably that was the mistake all along. I should have just gone. I stuck with my guns. Stuck with well, my guns. But honestly, yeah. you did pretty good. Now it's time to see the results and see what you actually got, and like determine the giveaway for the fans. All right. Simo, you have completed the 10 question quiz. How are you feeling? What are you thinking? Wait, what are you thinking you are? Overall, I, I, for not having like looked at card prices in years, because I haven't really had to, I, yeah. I felt like I did pretty good. I completely botched the end. I will fully admit that. That but seems the rest to be a trend. Them, People are, are doing really well, and in the end, they kind of fall off, you know, they mess up a little bit at the end. So that, that the two at the same time is kind of difficult, so. Even with the lifelines, I, that, that made it worse. They were death lines. Yeah, they, yeah, they were bad. <laughs> you shouldn't have used them. Okay, so the total value of all the cards that 
that we asked was two thousand four hundred and one dollars. So okay. that's the total value of all ten that you did. Oh, that was one dollar, inc including the replaced. Yeah, yeah, the replaced ones. You were off by four hundred and ninety six dollars overall. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then you got a factor and you got seventy dollars off because you guessed in the correct tier seven out of ten times. So you get to subtract seventy. So you're at four hundred twenty six dollars off. Do a little math. Four twenty six divided by two four zero one. You were seventeen point seven percent away, which means you're in the 25 percent tier. So you're at 100. You're officially the worst person on the show. So far. Uh, you I don't even know how doing that's the worst possible. Again. I felt like you did so good. <laughs> that's why I had to double check. I was like, I feel like you did pretty well. But I mean, honestly, 17.7 percent with like the variance of how cards move and all yeah. that stuff. I've talked about this for pretty much every episode. If you're like within 20, it's really good. So I'm considering mm. like I wanted to see how a few guests did before I like changed up the tiers of how the money works and stuff because sure. I, I didn't want to like make it too easy then bring you in and you know every price off the top of your head <laughs> you know something like that but yeah, yeah. uh you still made it into the 100 dollars tier you did really well i basically was the last couple was basically it i mean that you, you missed those by about like 200 or whatever and you had to replace your old one or something like that but i think the tier threes the tier threes if you miss those that's going to really tank your score the tier because, threes are really hard that's yeah I, I would recommend future guests use your lifelines on the tier threes because that's where you can really yeah. have the variance or if you just don't have any idea and like you don't know if it's a tier one or a tier three it could be anywhere that's where you can really go wrong as well or don't be like me and don't use your life blinds and just go with your gut and then you'll actually do better in the long run. Or do that, yeah, or do that. Just get them all right at just the saying, beginning. I would have been only 20 or 30 off that photon dragon if I actually yeah. kept it, but here we are. Exactly. But thanks for having me, buddy. Uh, this was a lot of fun. It was awesome. Thanks for being here, man. Yep, I'm happy to be the worst person on the show thus far. I will wear that badge proudly. Uh, you know, hey, there's only the been three, so you're in third. You're still in like the bronze medal. Not bad, we'll, not bad. We'll see, we'll see 10 episodes down the line if I'm still in last. Yeah, well, I don't think so. I think someone's going to do worse than you um this was no auction series but this can be the sequel we'll have to see if you guys <laughs> i don't know maybe auction series will come back we'll have to see maybe. About, uh, who knows when we're 35 it might sound interesting again i don't know potentially all right thank you guys for watching if you want to enter that giveaway for the 100 giveaway make sure to like the video subscribe leave a comment down below and uh simo thanks again for being here got any final words no thanks for having me and uh you know if you, I'm, I'm glad that we did this because had you given away a thousand dollars maybe auction series would have come back just saying just saying could have happened it's my fault <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> peace